the, the important years that we have to, to share with patients right now is that um, the initial data from patients with COVID-19 and MS doesn't suggest that they will be overwhelmed because of the fact that they are in immunosuppressor, although we have to take this data as a very preliminary, and again, be cautious about you know, the way that we handle patients. But while one may not worsen the other, Dr. Imatola said there still could be some confusion between the two. One of the key issues that we are worried is that many of those symptoms of MS may be actually relapses in the context of COVID-19. Remember, COVID-19 uh, doesn't make MS worse, but any viral infection in an MS patient will make the patient feel worse. In other words, what seems like a flare-up of MS symptoms could actually be COVID-19 in disguise. Dr. Imatola said once the stay-at-home order came for Connecticut, visits to Yukon Health's MS clinic dropped, but the numbers are rebounding, and he and his staff are taking all the precautions to keep patients safe. There are screeners, we take temperatures, uh, we have um, a great deal of questions and questionnaires. We have a questionnaire that is done prior to the patient booking the visit. And during the process of coming here, we ask the patients to wear masks, gloves, and also the physicians will wear uh, masks and gloves and try to you know, maintain um, the examinations to a minimum.